All right, so we've been doing a lot of technical stuff in this world lately, and today I wanted to do a little bit of building. So this is a, an idea I've had for a while. This is kind of like my idea book. There's all kinds of random ideas in here that we never get to. <laughs> but today we're actually getting to this one, um, which is Lava Castle Underwater with Blackstone and Deep Slate, and maybe like some magma blocks and stuff too, because what I want for this area is to fill it up a little bit more, right? Because we have the coral, it looks really cool if you're looking at the island, but if you're looking out there, and usually we are, there's nothing like here. So I think it'd be cool if we had like a, a volcano lava castle-y thing sticking up behind this, and we could also light it up and it would look really cool at nighttime and stuff. So I think that's what we're going to do today. So first thing we want to do is figure out the position, like where's the center of the giant volcano going to be? And I thought that this would be... Ugh. <laughs> we're right out of range of the uh, the conduit power. So when I sit over here, sometimes it just goes out. But basically there's like a little tiny mountain here. And this is already kind of sloped. So I think it would like, it would fit in really well right here. And also it looks like good from the, the shore. So I found it looks pretty good from up here. It's like from here you can see like pretty much the whole mountain probably. Um, or the underwater volcano and then if we go like down right on the shoreline here It fills up like a big empty space like if you're just looking out to the ocean then there'll just be this big um, Volcano there and I was thinking if we have maybe some smokestacks on the side Then that'll fill up this area which already kind of has some stuff to look at like the kelp and stuff. So that'll make like a really nice um, view All right, so let's stash this shulker box full of Blackstone and then deep slate. I guess, you know, I've never paid attention to the difference between cobbled deep slate and regular deep slate. I guess we, uh, I'll probably find out today. Actually, the tough might be kind of interesting. You know, just had a thought. We're just going to bring some stuff to try. But I bet you these might look kind of cool as like an accent, one of those two. And then we need <laughs> uh, more than one magma block. <laughs> um, that's kind of bad. I think I have some in my other project box. Ooh, but not very many. Hmm. Okay, we we might need to go mine some more eventually. For now, though, we got we got a, a starting amount. What other blocks would be good? Hmm. I mean, we could build with crying obsidian. It's it would it would kind of be like a balance in between these two. In fact, maybe we should just only go with these instead of the amethyst. But we'll use both of them to try. Oh, we have black concrete. That doesn't have very much tech. Well, actually, it has no texture. Oh, looky here, a conduit. I didn't realize we had an extra one of those. We have the uh, the stuff we got to surround it with in here. All right, we're almost full here, but I had a brilliant idea that we should definitely try out. Look at this. Does this not look like lava flowing down the side? Oh, like that's perfect, right? It's at least worth it's at least worth trying. We have like none of this, but I did um, in between this episode and last, I worked more on the farm setup. And I added the crimson uh, fungus so we can farm those. So we should be able to get some more pretty easy. All right, so let's see how these blocks look together. I know we're going to use blackstone. I feel like that's a no-brainer. And then we'll put some of these other ones next to it. And just see how some of this... Oh, my inventory is full already. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're going to start with the, uh, the top. Because I feel like that's the most important part. Um, and then we want it to be not like all the way up to the surface. So we'll just have like a little ring here. <laughs> okay, this is kind of a square. Uh, we'll fix that. This is all just sort of skeletal work right now that we're doing. Just so that we can see like is this even the right height and stuff and do these other blocks look good with it. Because um, I'm thinking that... Oh, Okay, we should probably set up that conduit, like, right now. 
Uh, what I was going to say before we do that is I was thinking of having like a like a backing to it here. Basically, the idea would be you have this backing and you have like the front part, which maybe would sag down a little bit. And it sort of feel like you're looking into the volcano. And also functionally, I want to set up um, like a bubble stream down here. So we do something like this. And then actually, we probably would use soul sand. Um, but the idea would be we have this like bubble stream so it, like it looks like it's active and then we'll have it connect up with if you can see in the distance over there that's uh our dolphin tunnel so ideally we could probably connect it like along this branch here so you sort of like swim into the volcano and swim out of the volcano to go in and out of the dolphin tunnels so it would have like a function too so i think that would be kind of cool Oh man, almost out of air again, <laughs> and it's dark. Let's let's go ahead and make the conduit. So I'm thinking of putting it here underneath uh, this kind of walkway. And we'll just bury it in the ground a little bit. So we just make sure that the conduit is in a three by three of water and there it activates. And then we just got to surround it with a few rings. Uh, the more rings we get, the more range we get. So there's one more ring, and the final ring. <laughs> I'm not like sprinting and shifting, it's forcing me. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So that should be good. Put something there. Now, we should have extended it far enough. Conduit power. Yeah, it's going up. Awesome. Sweet. So we can see and uh, breathe for a lot longer now. So now we can actually see just how these blocks look next to each other before we actually finish like or finalize the shape. So, dude, that looks really red <laughs> underwater. How does that look uh, compared to the magma blocks? Because obviously the magma blocks definitely look like lava. Hmm. They look a lot different. This one looks more like active and this is more like it's cooled. I'm also curious about the crying obsidian. Oh, that kind of looks weird. Doesn't really fit. <laughs> Would that look good next to the magma blocks, maybe? Yeah, kind of. It, it sort of looks like there's lava hidden in there. You know, that's the other thing. So with blackstone, there's a lot of different um, blocks that you can make. So if we just pop down a stone cutter and just throw in blackstone... Yeah, ooh. I wonder if this would look the best, because we don't want something that looks too man-made. But this is kind of like... Yeah. What about if we put a bunch next to each other? Does it look too tiled? Yeah. Now, if we broke that up with some of the other blocks, it might be all right. Because I feel like this texture is going to match better with deep slate and with the basalt. Like, if you look at these three, these go together pretty well. Because you got a little bit of blue from this, a little bit of blue from that. And then, like, just the textures are really good. So maybe we might actually want deep slate as the core block instead of blackstone. And then we'll sort of surround it with blackstone. That might be, that might be a decent strategy. All right, so we have more of a shape here now. This is more organic. And I'm popping in some uh, walls on top to kind of be like um, like pointy rocks, almost like uh, teeth surrounding the mouth of the, the volcano. So I thought that'd be kind of cool. I don't know if it, uh, it fully pans out. We could use stairs if that doesn't look very good. But yeah, I was experimenting with the, both kinds of lava and the bubbles are really, um, they kind of get in the way. Let's see if this works. No. <laughs> okay, so we, we might have to come up with some other method. Maybe uh, trying to get rid of the water blocks that are there or something. But in terms of visuals, that's how the magma blocks look. And this is how the crimson stems look. I love the animation of this so much more, but the color is better on this. I, I'm so undecided that I think what I might do is just 
build out the volcano and then we'll fill in the lava afterwards which might be easier to do just in general anyway you'll also notice i went with the polished blackstone for like most of it um, we'll be swapping out some pieces of the the blackstone here and there with like the regular like kind of cobbled stuff but i think that the smoothness of the polished blackstone makes it look more like you know slowly hardening obsidian even more than the obsidian block itself in minecraft which by the way, the reason we're not using that was that we don't have anywhere near enough obsidian. <laughs> so we had to use other blocks. Um, but yeah, that's actually the reason why I like the basalt as well. Is it has that kind of almost like mud texture to it. And when you put it with the, uh, put it like next to the, um, the deep slate, then you get kind of a, wait. Oh, the texture. Oh. Oh, you can put that sideways. <laughs> what do you know? Okay. Well, I'll have to decide which way I like it better, but I really like it when it looks like it's dripping down because obviously obsidian, when it's lava, you know, it's dripping slowly down and then it uh, hardens into actual obsidian. There's the two deep slate textures next to each other. So this is placing it sideways. And then the other one is up and down. And this one looks more drippy than this. Actually, what happens if you like alternate them? Does it look really, really funky? Oh, that's actually a really cool spiral pattern. If you're doing like a stone floor or something, that'd be cool. So the other cool thing about deep slate is that it allows us to kind of blend in with the gravel down here at the bottom, particularly if we use tough in between the deep slate and the gravel. So we have this kind of like transition, gentle transition both texture and color, which is pretty sweet. So I think what we'll do with the volcano is sometimes in some places, there'll be this like uh, underlying mountain that's showing through sort of the mountain that the lava or the obsidian like hardened on top of. And most of it will just be will be the uh, this imaginary obsidian, not the technical obsidian block, but the, uh, the lava obsidian. And, um, and then just in places, you know, you'll see like a a streak of of the regular mountain underneath and then at the base we'll probably combine it a little bit more depending on like where we want the the obsidian to have like pooled up at the bottom but we're also going to try and make it sort of more like squished at the bottom so you can kind of see this line it's like kind of straight down straight down and then it flattens out here and that's just like imagining the lava sort of pooling at the bottom and sort of um kind of going out wider instead of going anywhere deeper because, you know, it's at the bottom. <laughs> also, I think that um, somewheres around here, we're going to have the dolphin tunnel. So we probably want to stop the uh, the ground up up a little bit above and then we'll have the tunnel maybe like here-ish and then you can like swim up. I don't know if we'll get to very much of the tunnel today. It might even be a challenge to just finish one side of the volcano. We'll see how much we get done. But uh, it's looking pretty pretty cool so far. I do need to get the <laughs> these jack-o'-lanterns out. They were mostly just a reference point for where the center of the volcano is. And now we can already kind of see that, so that's good. I think I figured it out. It's just a matter of transitioning it. So we're going to transition the polished blackstone slowly into the gravel. So we just use, like, the, um, the regular cobbled blackstone to break up the texture of the polished stuff and then we use the basalt to transfer in between the polished stuff and the deep slate and it also gives us kind of like this nice uh texture transition as well because this is kind of like slimy and smooth and this looks kind of slimy and smooth depending on where you look at it particularly this part of it anyway so you got this kind of like subtle transition and if you look at it from oh <laughs> the dolphin's speed is making me go fast if you look at it from far away though you got a really nice like um, like the texture matches, but then there's like some sliminess that you can see. And I think it looks pretty nice actually. So we'll probably keep doing that. I, I like this side better than that side, I think. This side I like went really heavy on the basalt, but I think it's better if you go heavy on the blackstone. Just, I don't know if it's because it makes more sense or it looks better, but oh my word. <laughs> this is so hard to navigate. 
<laughs> well, all this uh, dolphin's grace is the reason why we want to connect this to the dolphin tunnel. The speed that you can go at with dolphin and the uh, speed two from the beacon is stupid. <laughs> I mean, like, look at that. That is crazy. Um, I don't know when we want to connect that up. I feel like I want to get the front a little bit more finished before we work on that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's coming along really nicely, particularly figuring out this bottom part. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at how many zombies have spawned. Oh my word. <laughs> oh wow. Oh no. It's always the babies that get you. <laughs> he runs in, hits me, gets away. I did not have high expectations for this build. I really didn't, because I'm not a good builder. Like, just overall. I'm not, like, a terrible builder, but, like, this is turning out cool. <laughs> I like it a lot. Like, I'm trying to follow the terrain here, and it's just, like, really working. I do think I need to make this a little bit more sloped. This is supposed to be, like, the... The mountain that it's on top of, kind of. Oops. So I'm making this all out of like deep slate and maybe just tossing in a basalt here and there. But like, it looks really cool and it like visually is making sense quite a bit. I still have mixed feelings about the magma. And honestly, like when you see this over here, it looks so perfect. It just isn't orange. So sad. But yeah, I mean, look at that. That is, uh, that's looking, that's looking cool. From this angle, you can almost pretend it's finished. <laughs> almost. Dude, I've, I've surprised myself with this build. I, I had low expectations. And it's looking sweet. I mean, I, I still am not sold on this type of magma, but at least the position of it and, like, all of the other colors and everything is like, it looks really cool. It looks pretty much like what I had pictured in my head, <laughs> which doesn't usually happen when I build stuff. <laughs> it usually looks way worse than what I picture, but this is pretty sweet. I'm thinking about um, maybe putting in some, this, this might be too much detail, but I'm thinking about like putting in some like stairs and stuff. So like if we had, uh, I don't know, like jagged outcroppings in some places. So, you know, if we did something like that or like that, you know, we can give it a little bit more detail and, and it'll look, it'll look a little more jagged, which doesn't make perfect sense with the whole like flowing and obsidian. So I wasn't quite sure if it would be a good idea to do. So maybe we just do like that so that we can sort of ease the transition um, instead of just trying to make it jagged. Because I think it only really makes sense to be jagged like at the top. Because if there's like explosions, you know, it's blowing chunks of rock away, right? So it kind of makes sense that it's jagged up here, but not really down here. All right, we'll just, we'll just do this then. So while we might not finish this whole volcano this episode, I figured since we finished the front face and it looks awesome, uh, let's work on the dolphin tunnel now. Because it'd be really nice if this had like a, a function attached to it. And also it's just nice making the base interconnected. Because then there's like different ways that you can get to stuff. And it's it sort of makes it more interesting to run around. Which I like. So I'm trying to get rid of the gravel here. Because we are going to want to be at about this height. Um, and then we're going to want to have a tunnel that goes to... You know actually what I was thinking? I thought it might be cool if in the tunnel, maybe we use the uh, the crimson stems because this just this is the right color and I think it just looks better, like even from outside of the water. So um, I think we'll leave the magma as like the, the front lava that pours down, but then the crimson stems here, I thought it might be cool if like inside of the tunnel, there's like, veins running along so like as you like look up you can see like there's there's lava veins overhead of, of you 
And like presumably at this depth, the water is also colder. Um, even though the magma inside would be like hotter, I guess. Uh, so it might make sense that this is a little bit darker red. It's not quite as bright orange as some of that, which is in, in the in the imaginary world that we're imagining, that is somehow hotter than this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. It might, it might work out. So that's dug out a good amount. And let's get the X coordinate here. Uh, 82. Okay, so now what we need to do is go over to this tunnel. And uh, we just find about... Oh, this is 82. We need to go a little bit lower, so actually we'll probably dig from here. So then we'll just go pretty much straight this way. Maybe curve slightly. Just try and make it look organic. Like the dolphins themselves tunneled. <laughs> That makes no sense, but doesn't have to. So we ran into a bit of an issue. Uh, it's a ravine. <laughs> so we will have to cover that up, I guess. Um, we'll worry about that later. Now we just need to get, like, make a connection. Aha! Whereabouts are we? Pretty much right where we need to be. So now we have a tunnel that goes all the way through from the volcano back to the dolphin tunnel. So you just gotta fill in that one spot. Oh my. <laughs> uh, so we just gotta fill in the ravine here. We should be good to go. Oh, one thing I've discovered is with these uh, underwater like tunnels, you really don't want flat floors. Flat floors just ruin the, uh, like the look immediately. It like it's like nah, this isn't an underwater tunnel. For some reason, flat floors are just like nah. <laughs> but then if you kind of have like a, a swoop, then it looks a lot more natural. Don't know exactly why. Just what is. Alright, so we don't have a, a ton of time left in the episode, but I <laughs> I poured some water. It takes a long time to fill these tunnels all the way up with water, so I just like filled the middle section. Um, that's like mostly usable, unless you fall out of the, <laughs> the water streams. There's like columns here. <laughs> it's almost like a maze. If you go too far to one side, you uh, you lose all your speed. It's kind of fun trying to like hit all the spots. But then it's so slow if you mess up. <laughs> anyway, so now we're totally connected with all of our other dolphin tunnels. So we can, um, we don't have a dolphin here yet. So we're just going like swim speed plus speed two. But then we have all the rest of the connections. So we can pop over to like the zoo here. There's the dolphin speed. Boing. And boom, we're like on the other side of the island. <laughs> it's so fast. Oh man, it's really easy to miss this turn. Oh no, there goes the speed. <laughs> I wonder if we need a dolphin like in the middle of that tunnel eventually. So we'll finish the dolphin tunnel up some other time, but check this out. This is the finished volcano. I uh, got in a groove and just went with it and boom, <laughs> the whole outside is done. So we got like full on, full on like lava streams going down. Actually, I want to show you the front part here too. It's like fully melded down into the uh, into the gravel down here. So there's no like holes, awkward holes. You can't even see the dolphin tunnel. It's right underneath here. I put some gravel on top to make it look the same and then blended that. We also got like a little, uh, like a mini spire here almost and it splits the lava in two ways. I thought that was kind of a an interesting thing. And I uh, tried to blend it as much as I could with the mountain that was already here. And it kind of looks like a, a double mountain. It's, it's pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> so we ran out of time for the smokestacks. Um, I tried a couple, but I'm not really satisfied with any of them. And I was thinking if any of you guys have any ideas, maybe something that's like this shape, but this color? I, I don't know. <laughs> if you guys have any ideas, put them down in the comments and let me know. Um, <laughs> and we can add that in later. But for now, I think that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Building the Volcano. And, oh, one more thing. I figured out what's going on with the sprint stuff, too. 
basically um so you know how like every time i pressed forward i like jumped down it's because like when you're in water sprinting never stops like it doesn't toggle back like if you sprint on land and you stop running when you start again you're not sprinting but in water that's not the case so if i just press forward here i immediately go into swim mode and like it i'm only pressing forward but i'm like going up and down as soon as i press sprint and then toggle it now i just swim forward like normal <laughs> It's a weird little thing. I don't know why it keeps it in toggle mode as long as you're in water, but that's what was going on. It's just kind of nice to know about that, you know? Then it's like I don't have to get squished into the floor every time. <laughs> uh, yeah. So let's get a glimpse from the shore. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, yes. That fills the space that I was hoping it'd fill. And you can see the lava, like, really well. Let's look up from above, too. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Oh, wowza. That is exactly what I was imagining. <laughs> That's super satisfying. Well, there you have it. The underwater volcano is finished on the outside. <laughs> the inside, I, uh, I'll finish with the dolphin tunnel at some other point. But uh, like I said, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you next time. Later, later.